I know what you're thinking. Jane, why did you leave me? Why did you run away? I never left. I'd never leave you, girl. Not on Valentine's Day. Truth is, I just forget to do things a lot of the time. This is one of them. Ah, what could be more fitting on Valentine's Day than a deck of love? Aphrodite. It goes well with the Heart Nebula, giving it 30 power this turn, which the Heart Nebula also goes with the Soul Nebula, and they give each other power. It's a big circle of love. Odin, Frigga, and Sleepnir are like the best combo I've experienced in the game personally, where the horse really helps Odin, they all help each other super well, and another big circle of love. The Red Lip Batfish, which helps the lock bridge, because I'm not going to botch that name, the Skull of St. Valentine, and Casa de Julieta, which is, I think, just Juliet from Romeo and Juliet. It helps all of them. Apollo and Daphne, a love-hate relationship. It's really a toxic relationship, because one benefits the other, and the other actually makes the other worse. But they're still worth putting in there. Love comes in all shapes and sizes. My girlfriend's asleep inside while I film this video. Happy Valentine's Day to me. A Castro and King Pedro, a lover's revenge. I don't know anything about this couple, but they are a couple, and that's that's love. The coward and the weaver girl. Lovers of the Milky Way. I didn't put the Milky Way in here. If you want to, you can, but I didn't. So this card is in here solely because they're a couple. Mary Godwin and Percy Shelley. Literary lovers. They benefit you if you have eight or more art and culture cards in your deck, and you will if you follow this. You will, and this card so far has been very helpful in that. Antony and Cleopatra. Like I said, you'll have a lot of history cards. When you play this, they'll cost two less. Bonnie and Clyde, stealing hearts. All the cards in your opponent's hand lose four power per Permanently. This card gains 20 power permanently, and if you're losing the round, it happens again. Also, who could forget the greatest love story of all time? A Titanic. This card is also in here just because of love. Other cards that represent love that you can use that I'm not using. An artificial heart. Hey, is your heart broken? Get a new one. Casanova, uh, the man known for love. Nero and Sabina, I know nothing about that couple as well. The Bridegroom's Oak, which I'm pretty sure is just a play on an erection during a honeymoon. Sir Tristan and Isyot, I don't know how to pronounce that name fully, but they also seem like a pretty chaotic couple. And of course, the limited card that's out right now, if you watch this video right now, go get this card right now. It's the Agapornis, the red in the face, which if your deck has three or more art and culture cards, your life on land cards gain 20 until played. Now this hand will have those art and culture cards, but it will not have life on land cards. So it's good to know about, but not for this deck. All right, let's play. Once again, these are the cards I'm using. And I forgot to mention, this video goes out to my dearest love. Not my girlfriend who's asleep on the bed inside, but Frog. Ah, Frog, you've always meant the world to me. Here we go. Here's an example of how you can play it. As you can see, the lock bridge locks itself up. The skull of Valentine is already benefiting him. What do I even have? Oh, cool. Juliet's house is on fire. That's a new one. I can play that card, which is already going to get a benefit, and I might as well play Apollo since I'm on the history map, and since Juliet's house is on fire, let's get that out of my hand too. All right, still on a history map, so I might as well keep pumping out the history cards. Let's get Coward out there, and since I have this, I'm going to play this as well, and I'm also going to get the Skull of Valentine out of my hand. I don't really like playing him early because if I got him when I did, and I play him, then I'm going to get him again, and he's going to benefit my opponent again. I don't like doing that, and it's not going to be enough, and that's okay, I'm accepting my fate. Well, the good news is the lock bridge is now unlocked, and I can use that card. Bonnie and Clyde, ah yes, steal from the other team and give to the me. I do now have the Odin Frigga Sleep Near combo, which I am just going to capitalize on, and I like playing them all three at the same time whenever I can, because when you draw Sleep Near, he helps Odin if he's in your hand, and then if you play Sleep Near, he helps Odin again. All right, one loss, one win. Juliet's house is on fire again. Is that just what it, no? A miracle that that happened again. Okay, I'm gonna play this so that those two cost less. I'm gonna play you because you're on fire again. And I'm gonna play you. Even though I just said I'm gonna play it so you cost two less. Ah, I just want you out of my hand. Okay, good. I do have a combo. I have a very good combo, honestly. An Aphrodite and the Heart Nebula and the Soul Nebula. Especially on this map. That is a good chunk of change right there, 220. I bet that they still do about the same. Okay, cool. No, it's under. All right, so we have some kind of benefit here. I'm gonna take the risk and hope that Daphne and Apollo can be a decent enough combo with the Skull of Valentine to keep me above the line. This is a big risk. Love is about taking risks, right? It's a thin line. Yes, I know, I understand. And it's gonna be good enough. Very good. Here he is. Here's that bad boy and a big bonus of 70 right away. Bonnie and Clyde gonna steal from them. The lock's gonna be locked and I'm not gonna be able to use it ever again because I anticipate in a very cocky way that I will win this round. All right, so I play the horse, help him again, let's go. And then I play Odin, let's go. And then I play Frigga as I, <laughs> let's go. 
I'm gonna play them, I'm gonna play that band, I'm gonna play them. I'm just gonna have a good time. All right, one more play. Juliet's house, not on fire anymore. That's a way better ending to their story uh, for her. And of course, uh, that means that we walk away with a win. And love triumphs all. Got any other lovely cards that you want in there? Let me know. Is there any card that's not in there that's like fully about love? Like Romeo and Juliet's not a card that you really want to be a card? Let me know. Did you play cute cards while your girlfriend took a nap? And then you that was your Valentine's plan? Me too. Let me know. Also, go check out the Discord link for that in the description down below. That being said, my name is Zane Shaw. I should probably go do something with my girlfriend since it is Valentine's weekend. Actually, Valentine's is tomorrow at the time of filming this. And uh, I love you so much. Uh, that was meant for my girlfriend, but I said it out loud to the camera. I'll see you in the next video.